What's up everybody? I'm Luke Duncan and welcome back to the Traveling Circus and this is the Express Boats 2023 X21 Pro LE. Here we go, your first walkthrough of the X21 Pro LE. If you kept up with the channel at all last year, you saw the videos on the X21 Pro, and this boat is definitely different. I'm gonna walk you through it, show you some of the changes that have been made, tell you what I like, maybe some of the things I don't like. Let's get into it right now, starting at the console. All right, several changes on the console for the 2023 X21 Pro LE. First thing you're gonna notice, a little different steering wheel than we had last year. They dressed it up a little bit. It's got this brush metal look, cool Express logo in the middle. I absolutely think it, it just jumps out at you. Very cool. Switch panel, a little different this year. It's cleaned up a lot. You, if you remember, you had your live well switches right here last year. Still got the valve control, but the switching has moved. Everything is right here. So from bilge to nav lights to aerators, all right here. I've got a dual USB charging port right here. Got my lights, the RGB light controls right here. And of course, storage lights right there as well. On the console, I mounted a power pole switch just because I think that is something you better have back here for docking different things. But one of the biggest differences, and you'll notice here, and I wanna say I'm not utilizing this because I'm using a precision sonar mount for my Garmin 12 back here. Love these mounts. I've been running them for a few years now. I think they're some of the strongest units out there for holding up your graphs in really rough water. And the best word I can use to describe the precision sonar mounts is just solid. Like they don't need a lot of adjusting. They hold up through a lot of really crazy conditions. But what Express did is they built this ledge into this console. So if you choose not to use a graph mount, you can take your gimbal mount that comes with your unit and mount it right to this. We've seen some companies do this in the last few years and it's just to accommodate the bigger graphs, guys running multiple graphs if you don't wanna go through with that graph mount. Uh, a lot of graph mounts have impacted consoles. They have cracked fiberglass. There are people that have issues with that. I've never had an issue with my Express and my graph mount, but that's why you're seeing a lot of bass boat companies go to this ledge style. It's a really clean application. I wanted to get my Garmin up a little higher, so that's why I'm going to use that precision sonar mount right there. Running TH Marine Finger Flex dual blinker trim there for jack plate and the motor trim on the console, but overall really clean look. Under the console, you've got a speaker, just to blast amazing rap music right in your face. Got my hot foot right there. And then it has a really nice place to put your left foot while you're driving to rest it on long runs. Uh, all your fuses are right here. So you can, if you, they're all individual fuses. So if you have a problem with a switch, a pump, whatever, they're all right here underneath it and labeled. Really nice and neat. A cup holder slash tool holder. And we got a little bit of a, uh, this is kind of a catch-all. There's a washer down in there right now from where I was doing some work. Didn't notice that until right now, but kind of a catch-all here at the console. Not sure what that is. Hey, let's get that off of there. Seat's got a little dirty. What are you gonna do? But really like this. Of course, you can see I got some scissors right there. You can drop some pliers in there. Of course, a cold drink. Now let's check out the seats. All right, here you go. The seat setup is a little bit different this year. A little bit different look. They look like they belong in a rocket ship. I absolutely love the way these turned out. A big difference from the Pro seats. I like the seats in my Pro, but these just look, I don't know, they, they look a lot cooler to me. And they feel cooler. They're cool touch technology. So when the sun's beating down, they're not supposed to get as hot. I haven't fished on any crazy hot days yet out of it, but certainly like the idea of that, to say the very least. Got the Express logo ghosted in right there in the headrest and then a really cool Express X on the back. They just look good, man. It looks mean. I love it. Both passenger and driver side here. Of course, they have storage underneath. Pull that here. I've got all kinds of crap shoved down in there. First aid kits, extra gloves, toboggans, different things. But that's under both seats there. Now let's go take a look at the front. 
So up on the business end, Garmin Force trolling motor again this year. Got the recessed trolling motor pedal. Got my power pole stomp buttons mounted up here. A couple things that they did different. The trim switch is actually used to be right up front. Last year when I mounted my graphs, my man Darren Thomas at Integrated Boatworks actually moved it over here for me. Express is doing that from the factory now. You've got a dual USB charger up here as well in case you want to charge your phone, keep it close to you while you're catching those bass, whatever. You got your trim switch. This piece right here is really nice looking back form piece that they've got. You can kind of hide your wires behind. I'm running kind of a combo unit. This one's, this one's funny to me and very much redneck Luke Duncan to its core. So Precision Sonar makes the custom mounts. Like I said at the console, I'm running a Precision Sonar top with a TH Marine Kong Wave Tamer base. And the reason I did that was it kind of let me spread out a little bit more. It didn't take as much footprint room up with the base. The precision base, I didn't really uh, like how I was gonna have to mount it, to be honest. And so got the Kong Wave Tamer, and I actually, you can see I lag bolted that thing into the front deck, it's not going anywhere. But I love how this graph kind of stretches out over the trolling motor pedal. They had a cup holder here, recess cup holder, tool holder, same thing last year. You can see my screw holes there. I took it out. I feel like it turns things into shrapnel. It's useless to me, so ended up getting rid of that, but I'm running two Garmin 10s up here, one for live scope, one for mapping side and everything else. I got the new live scope, that old 34 transducer on there. You can see a uh, cricket swimming at like 257,000 feet. It's crazy. but. Love how clean that is. Something I didn't do last year, but but added this year. That's a TH Marine Troll Tamer. Locks the trolling motor into place. I took, uh, that's the Garmin Bounce Buster, and I threaded it, tapped out the end, and stuck the Troll Tamer base into it there. And that's just gonna save you uh, some heartache and rough water, keeps that thing locked into place. Um, it's a little long, so I actually took a piece of C deck, and you can see where it's imprinted. When it lays down, it makes sure that bounce buster there, when it lays down, when you deploy the trolling motor, it just goes right here and rests real quiet. Uh, really like that setup. Got my Garmin GPS antenna mounted right here. But overall, loving the setup. Now I'm gonna take you through the layout, the deck layout change just a little bit on the front end of the X21 Pro LE. At first glance, you might not think there's a significant difference between last year's boat and this year's, but it's a big difference. If you remember, you had this box right here. They called it the trash can, but the deck actually extended out, and then that box was separate from it in the floor. So we've got this little cutaway here now, and this was something I really wanted last year uh, for sitting and working on tackle. You can get down here. You can get to your stuff, but it made this box a little bit shorter, but you can still see uh, just jam-packed with tackle. I've got my TH Marine Foam Tackle Titans there. Some spinner baits hanging on those right now. The rod box configuration is the same as last year. I do not have a rod organizer in there. I keep rod sleeves on everything. Got my push pole mounted right there. It'll hold about 40 rods with no organizer in it. You can get it jam packed full. Some water spilled from where I just washed the boat. This box is where I'm going to keep soft plastics. You can see it's jammed full. My boys put their life jackets and rain suits in there when we got through fishing the other day at Gunnersville, but it is jam packed full of just all kind of stuff. But plastics, tons of stuff in that box. This very front box changed the orientation the way it opens straight up now uh, didn't lose any room there it's just a little bit different configuration all the way around i've got several things in there swim baits snacks my live scope box is mounted in there as well but deck configuration a little different on the le got another speaker out right here to put bass in your face you've got the they call it the trash can i'll be honest it's a really good cooler i like that you can see some trash down in there and some waters got my stereo to help put the base in your face a little bit different the measuring board is there instead of i believe last year was over this region somewhere a little different i like this platform for co-angler rods they used to do a cutout so that is gone where the butt of your rods actually went in there. I mounted a TH Marine rod tamer strap right here myself to keep them all bundled up. 
But this deal right here, this little, I'm gonna call it a happy slot. Let's call it a happy slot. I don't know what the happy slot's for. It's got C deck in it. It looks really good. I'm not sure what I did with it. I mounted yet another TH Marine foam tackle titan there because I get tired of baits being all on the floor, all over the C deck. So this just helps me in a day's fishing. And the boys and I have been over to Gunnersville. Hell, I just stuck excess baits when I was tying on new things, trying other things. Stuck a lot of them here. I, I picked up a lot yesterday, so uh, out of there, so it's a little cleaner today. But kind of like that, just a little day box, maybe, what you would consider that. But happy slot is what we'll call that. You come right here, you got a similar cup holder, tool holder, like you do on the driver's side. That's where I'm keeping a lot of stuff. Last year, it was in this region. It was on the console. It was actually right here. I wasn't crazy about it. I made some adjustments to it. I added some foam to it uh, to keep my tools in place, but I've had zero issue with them being back here so far. So definitely, uh, definitely enjoying the tool holder and cup holders. Of course, there's another one of those seats. You got the storage right there under it. Something else that changed in the layout right here. Show you this bad boy. So this is a coin box. Some kind of feather. I don't know, did we, we might have murdered a bird, I'm not sure. But this is a coin box that actually, if you remember last year, this boat had, the Pro has a cooler right here. You can see we got a ton of trash in there. Some more water from where I washed the boat. But this was, this is what Express means to be the cooler. Last year I put a lot of my valuables or my truck keys, wallet, whatever, right here, spare, you know, my trolling motor remote. I had spare batteries for the trolling motor remote, had my scales, culling systems, different things in here. So I decided this year I was gonna to try to utilize this as a cooler a little more, and the boys and I did some. It's become more of a trash can uh, in the last couple of days, but they're doing this coin box top. So two cup holders on it, obviously, and you can put your keys. I got my trolling motor remote right here. Here's a spare pair of Costas in there, but it's just a really nice little box. Uh, a little day box that you can put things in and really comes in handy. Something else that changed, big change. Uh, the back deck configuration changed because of an addition of fuel. So if you remember last year, the fuel tank was all the way back here where you see the Yamaha logo there at the back end of the boat against the transom. They added 10 more gallons of gas to this boat. So you have 50 gallons of fuel. 50 gallons of fuel crazy we had 40 last year i never had an issue with it but they added more fuel the fuel tank was shifted under these seats so your live wells were here last year your batteries were here fuel tank all the way back there okay keeping up this is this is uh this is a big change so now you have access to the fuel tank for cinders and different things under this, but you get this cool day box right here, keep ropes in there, whatnot, this nice stainless steel slam latch. And then your live wells are here, both live wells there, and then your battery compartment. Walk with me, walk with me. Right here we have the bilge battery area all the way at the back of the boat. Got the pro guides in there. 31 series AGM for my cranking. Got those pro guide deep cycle lithiums in there for trolling battery switch right here easy to access for for turning off and on last year with it being right here on the pro where these live wells are you'd have to dig around a little bit with your hand turn it off and on i love this i can access it outside of the boat power pole pumps right there got everything pretty well nice and neat something i will show you if you kept up last year at all fuel fill is here now instead of back there Mounting my power pole charge right there. And that storage box got a few little things to tackle in there as well. But yeah, complete, complete change up, big change up to the back deck and really to the overall performance of the boat because you've shifted a lot of weight, so some things had to change. Well, now, let's take a look at this mean machine. The Yamaha Show 250, the VMAX. Just look at this crazy thing. 
Looks like something out of a spaceship. Kind of like the seats look this year. I'm mildly obsessed with this thing. I catch myself just staring at it. It's probably not healthy, but here we are. Uh, brand new alternator in this thing. It's going to crank out some serious power. That's one of the big redesigns on the new show. I'm loving it so far. Just like I loved the one last year. Zero issues last year whatsoever. Couldn't wait to run another show on this boat. I'm running these flat gray. These are eight foot power pole blades. If you kept up with me for a few years, you know I'm normally a 10 foot blade guy. This year they were kind of behind on 10 footers when I placed my order. So I went with eights. Not going to be happy with that, I don't think. Like, I really love that that extra distance the 10 gives you. I've got the show and the poles mounted to a TH Marine Atlas hydraulic jack plate 14-inch setback. Remember when I said up there on the back deck there were some performance changes? Well, we went with a bigger setback. Ordinarily, they run a 10-inch hydraulic on this boat on the 21 Pro. We switched it up, got a little further back weight-wise this year with that 14. I've got my Garmin transducer mounted to the bottom of the jack plate. One other thing that I want to show you back here, I just think it's clean right here in the splash well, but Express had these nice pieces made. This is brushed metal with some starboard plastic, but you've got through holes coming out of here with some of your drains and things, but your hydraulic steering goes in here. Really nice, got the Express X. It's got the X21 logo and then all of your power pole hoses your jack plate harness and my transducer wire all running into this TH Marine cable boot right here. Really just, uh, it's a clean, bad, bad machine. All right, that's all she wrote for the first ever Luke Duncan's Traveling Circus X21 Pro LE walkthrough. Man, that's, that's exciting. That's exciting right there. Been waiting on this boat, waiting on this boat, waiting on this boat. Picked it up about a month ago. Just now finally getting her rigged out and ready been on the water with it a couple times. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you've got any questions, please drop them below. And I'm going to tell you, if you want one of these boats, go see your local express dealer, but get ready for a wait because the waiting list is very, very long right now for these X21s. Y'all made them very, very popular and you're ordering them like crazy, but go check them out. Definitely a difference in the LE and the Pro. Like I said, any questions hit me up and I'll see y'all next time.